I created a Super League, but this Super League is gonna work completely different. In our Super League, when a club wins the title, they have to give up three of their best players to another club in the Super League. And actually, we're gonna take it a step further. When a club wins the cup competition, they have to give up their best players to another club in the Super League as well. This is gonna be as epic and wild as it gets because we're gonna have some of the best players move from club to club every season. To sum it up, clubs are gonna be punished for winning and rewarded for being bad. Now, in order to make this happen, guys, we had to put some of the biggest clubs in the world into one league where there's no promotion or relegation. And that league is the Turkish Super League. And the clubs that are participating are Arsenal, Aston Villa, Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, Celtic, Chelsea, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Galatasaray, Inter Milan, Juventus, Bayer Leverkusen, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, AC Milan, Napoli, and PSG, and Real Madrid. Now, as you can tell, there's actually 20 clubs in the Turkish Super League and not 19. But in order for us to be able to keep track of who wins the cups, we have to be a part of the league. So 20th spot, it just doesn't count. We'll be controlling UCD like they're part of the league, but in reality, they're not. So there's only 19 teams participating. Before we begin, let me break it down to you exactly how it's gonna work. After one full season, the club that finishes top in first place will have to give up three of their best players to the club that finishes in last place, which is 19th. And the club that wins the cup competition will have to give up their three best players to the club that finishes in 18th place in the regular season. And if a club does the double where they win the league and the cup competition, they have to give up six of their best players, three to 19th place and three to 18th place. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to the end of season one. All right, so our first season in our Super League has come to an end, guys. Who won the Super League and who is going to be giving three of their best players to the last place team? Well, it was Real Madrid, yeah. Real Madrid on 79 points. They topped Manchester City by five points, Barcelona in third, Inter in fourth, and PSG rounded off the top five. But who is Real Madrid giving their best three players to? Let's find out. Arsenal is in 10th, AC Milan in 11th, Juventus in 12th, Napoli with Lukaku in 13th, Chelsea in 14th, who is the 19th place team? It's not Celtic, it is Aston Villa. <laughs> Three of Real Madrid's best players are going to Aston Villa for next season. Now, what about the cup? Did Real Madrid do the double so they have to give up six players or did someone else win it? Real Madrid did go to the final. I'm going to tell you that much, but they lost in the final to another Spanish club. It was Barcelona. So Barcelona is also going to give up three of their best players for next season. And Barca is going to give up three of their best players to 18th place uh, Celtic. Yeah, so three of best Barca's players for next season are are gonna be Celtic players. So who is Real Madrid giving to Aston Villa? Well, the first one is Kylian Mbappe, 92 overall. The second is Vinny, 91 overall. And the third is Jude Bellingham because he's 90 rated. Mbappe, Bellingham, and Vinny at Aston Villa is wild. While Celtic is gonna receive Ter Stegen, who's 89 rated from Barca, 88 rated Frankie de Jong, and 88 rated Pedri. Barca and Real Madrid both won trophies and they're getting absolutely decimated guys. And would you look at that? Mbappe, Vinny Jr., and Jude Bellingham are all Aston Villa players. While Frankie de Jong, Ter Stegen, and of course Pedri, they have signed for Celtic. I am extremely curious to see what the next season is gonna look like. And as we simulate to the next season, you make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well. We're chasing 200k, so I would really appreciate it. Now before we go and see what happened in season two and who won everything and who's gonna be losing players, I wanna look at some of these transfers. Victor Osiman switched sides from Napoli in the Super League to play for Borussia Dortmund in the Super League for 143 million. While Rasmus Hoyland left Manchester United out of the Super League to France to play for Monaco. PSG sold Gonzalo Ramos to another Super League rival in AC Milan and they sold Bradley Barcola out of the Super League to Crystal Palace? What? Sergei Milinkovic Savage came out of Saudi Arabia to play for Inter Milan. While Aston Villa bolstered their squad even more. They got the three real Madrid players, and they got Sheshko from Leipzig. Liverpool's Konate went to Bayer Leverkusen, while Bowie left Bayern Munich to Napoli, and Kamara left Aston Villa for Atletico Madrid, both of them staying in the Super League. John Stones also switched sides. He went from City to Atletico Madrid, and so did Upa Meccano. He left Bayern Munich to play for Liverpool. But the moment of truth, who won the Super League and who will be losing three of their best players? I can tell you, it's not Manchester City, and 
and it wasn't Aston Villa. It was Bayern Munich on 68 points. They topped City, who finished in second, and Aston Villa, after getting all those Real Madrid players and Sheshko, they finished only two points back in third on 66. Real Madrid dropped all the way down to 10th. Now, what about Celtic? Celtic finished in 16th. They didn't do that great with the Barca squad. And Bayern Munich will be giving three of their best players to Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona! They gave up three of their best players to Celtic, and they finished dead last. Now, what about the cup? And in the cup, guys, we have a small problem here, uh, because it was Real Madrid that won the cup. Yeah, so that means Real Madrid has to give up three more players this season again. So yeah, that means Bayern Munich has given three of their best players to Barcelona, and Real Madrid for winning the cup, they're gonna give three more of their best players to Galatasaray, who finished in 18th. So who is Barcelona getting from Bayern Munich? Well, the first one is Jamal Musiala. He's going to play for Barca. He's 90 overall. The other one is Harry Kane. Harry Kane is going from Bayern Munich to Barca. And the third one is the 87 rated Joshua Kimmich. He's going to Barcelona as well. And Real Madrid is going to have to give Thibaut Courtois to Galatasaray. Militao is going to be joining him in Turkey too. And so will 90 rated Federico Valverde. Dude, these teams are getting absolutely destroyed. Oh my gosh, Federico Valverde. Valverde is in a Galatasaray jersey. So is Militao and so is Courtois. While Harry Kane, Joshua Kimmich, and Jamal Musiala are officially Barcelona players. The upcoming season, we might have Galatasaray and Aston Villa be the best teams in the league. So season number three with Barcelona having Kane, Kimmich, and Musiala while Galatasaray having Militao, Valverde, and Courtois has come to an end, guys. And before we see who has won it and has to give up players, we're going to look at the transfer and see what has happened. Apparently, Arsenal has sold Gabby Martinelli out of the Super League to RB Leipzig, while Balde left Barcelona to play for Chelsea for 120 million. Um, Jadon Sancho was apparently a free agent. He signed with Ternana, and then Ternana sold him to Spurs for 95 million. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Newcastle sold Sven Botman to Manchester City for 82 million, while Borussia Dortmund sold the right back Kuto to Manchester United. And Galatasaray got even better because they got João Neves from PSG for 73 million. While the 30-year-old Diogo Jota, he stayed in the Super League, but he switched allegiances. He went to Bayer Leverkusen from Liverpool. So who won the Super League in Season 3 and who is giving up players? Ah, uh, it's an English side. And no, it's not Arsenal. No, it's not Manchester United. It's Manchester City. <laughs> yeah, Manchester City is giving up some players, guys. 38 matches played on 67 points. To be fair, it was almost Arsenal because they were tied on points, but Man City had a better goal difference. AC Milan, a very nice surprising third. Dortmund in fourth, PSG in fifth, Real Madrid. They got rid of a lot of players, but they still finished in sixth place. Aston Villa moved up to eighth. They still haven't won anything, even with Mbappe, Vinny, and Jude Bellingham. Galatasaray with their three new Real Madrid players, they only finished in 14th, and Barcelona, yeah, they got Harry Kane, and they couldn't even break the top 15. They finished in 17th place only with 10 wins. We got Chelsea finishing 18th. Who is Manchester City giving their players to? Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. They got rid of Harry Kane. They lost Kimmich. They lost Musiala. And they finished dead last. <laughs> so Manchester City will have to give three of their best players to Bayern Munich. Now what about the cup, guys? Well, Aston Villa did go to the final of the cup. Yes, they finally did something, but they lost the final final to Atletico Madrid. But that means that Atletico Madrid is giving three of their best players to the 18th place finisher, which was Chelsea, as if they need more players. So who is City giving to Bayern? Well, the first one, it's Erling Haaland. 94 overall, what a sick replacement. Harry Kane is gone, Erling Haaland is in. The second one is 92 overall Rodri. He's also heading to Germany to play for Bayern. And the third one is 90 rated Phil Foden. Now remember that Atletico Madrid won the cup, so they gotta give three players to Chelsea, and the first one is 88-rated Jan Oblak. He's gonna come play for the Blues. The second player that's also going to Chelsea is Julian Alvarez, 87 overall. And the third one is John Stones. Yeah, John Stones. He moved from Manchester City to Atletico Madrid, and now he's going to Chelsea. Now, 
Now, if you're wondering how big of a transfer this is for Erling Haaland to leave Manchester City and go play for Bayern Munich in the same Super League, Erling Haaland won the Golden Boot with 24 goals in 37 matches. So Man City for next season is not going to have that anymore. Phil Foden, Rodri, and Erling Haaland have been unveiled as new Bayern Munich players. While Oblak Stones and Julian Alvarez, welcome to Chelsea, guys. I got a feeling that in Season 4, Bayern Munich is going to become a super team with these new signings. Maybe Chelsea will also become competitive, and we're still waiting for Aston Villa to win something with Jude Bellingham, Mbappe, and Vinny. It hasn't happened yet. Okay, so Season 4 with Bayern Munich having Erling Haaland and Julian Alvarez playing for Chelsea has come to an end, guys. Apparently, Borussia Dortmund is selling everybody. Schlotterbeck left Borussia Dortmund for $118 million. Kobel also left Borussia Dortmund and switched allegiances to Bayer Leverkusen for $112 million. Dortmund are rich. And Teo Hernandez left AC Milan for Brighton. Yeah, he went to Brighton and Hove Albion. Udogi left Tottenham for Liverpool and João Felix left Chelsea for Roma. Kai Havertz also left Arsenal for Valencia. And PSG just still keeps on selling players. Lee Kang-In went to Brighton as well. And Aston Villa bought a center back in Kasunu. Is that going to be enough for them to win the Super League? I'm not sure, but they spent 80 million. Villa also brought in Livramento from Lille for 74 million. On paper, Aston Villa looks absolutely stacked. So who is the winner of season four? This is the biggest surprise I've ever seen in my life, guys. It is Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. 76 points ahead of AC Milan, ahead of PSG, ahead of Juventus and Borussia Dortmund. Bayern Munich with Erling Haaland, they only finished in sixth. While Chelsea added Oblak, Stones, and Alvarez, and they won the Super League. Real Madrid is in seventh. Bayer Leverkusen is in eighth. Barcelona climbed up to tenth. Celtic. Remember Celtic? Yeah, they got three players in season one. They're still a mid-table side. Man City had to give up Haaland, Foden, and Rodri to Bayern Munich, and they finished in 13th. While the biggest disappointment so far, it has to be Aston Villa. Like, guys, they have Jude Bellingham. They have Vinny. They have Kylian Mbappe plus the transfers that they just made. And they're in 14th place. So for season five, who is Chelsea giving their three best players to? It's not Manchester United because they finished in 17th. Galatasaray also had a very disappointing season in 16th. It is going to be Atletico Madrid. That's right. So Atletico Madrid last season had to give Oblak, Alvarez, and Stones to Chelsea. Chelsea won the league. Atletico Madrid finished in last. And those three players might be going right back to Atletico Madrid. But even though Manchester City didn't win the league, they still won the cup. 1-0 over Chelsea, which means that Manchester City has to give up three more players. But Chelsea avoids giving up six. And Man City is going to have to give three of their players to Napoli, who finished in 18th. So who is going from Atletico Madrid to Chelsea? Well, the first one, it is Balde because he's 89 overall. The second one is Cold Palmer. He's also going to Atletico Madrid. And the third one is 88 rated Enzo Fernandez. Honestly, I think Atletico Madrid got the better of the deal. Yes, last year they had to give up Old Black and Stones and Julian Alvarez, but arguably they're getting back three better players in Balde, in Enzo Fernandez, and Cold Palmer. So even though Chelsea won the Super League, I think that they got screwed. Now, once again, who does Manchester City have to give up to Napoli this time? The first one, Ruben Diaz. The second one is Josko Gvardio. And the third one is 34-year-old, 88-rated Ederson. Cold Palmer, Balde, and Enzo Fernandez are heading to Spain after their move from Chelsea. While Napoli also has got a few new boys in town, one being Ruben Diaz, Ederson, and Josko Gvardiol. Welcome to Italy. Can Napoli win a title with those three players? Maybe Atletico Madrid can make a comeback. What about Aston Villa? Let's go to season five. The fifth season of our Super League has come to an end, and some of these transfers, guys, they are wild. Uh, McAllister left Liverpool for Bournemouth. <laughs> 110 million. What's going on at Bournemouth? And Kunku obviously wasn't getting enough playing time, so he left Chelsea for Roma for 105 million. While Aston Villa sold this regen burnout to Leeds United for 100 mil. And Danny Olmo went to Everton. What? Liverpool also sold Trent Alexander-Arnold to Juventus. While Declan Rice went back to West Ham United from Arsenal. Bayern Munich sold Leroy Sané to Bayer Leverkusen. And then Liverpool just keeps on selling players. They sold Upa Meccano back to Bayern Munich. And your fifth season Super League winner, guys, it was Bayern Munich. Yep, 25-7-6 on 82 points. Actually, a very dominating season. German team in Bayer Leverkusen in 
second place, dominated by German teams somehow. Man United, a nice third place finish. AC Milan in fourth, Real Madrid in fifth, Chelsea finished in sixth. Manchester City, after giving up Diaz, Guardiola, and Ederson to Napoli, they finished in ninth. And Aston Villa, dude, my goodness, man, in 13th place on 47 points. What is going on at Aston Villa? We're gonna have to take a look at their roster. And this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Guys, I haven't made a transfer with UCD AFC whatsoever. I haven't even looked at our lineup, but somehow, some way, we finished ahead of Atletico Madrid. Now, remember that Atletico Madrid got Balde, Enzo, and Cole Palmer, and they finished on 27 points with only four wins in 38 matches. And the cup in season five, it was Atletico Madrid versus AC Milan, and AC Milan won 4-1. So Atletico Madrid finished last in the league, but they went to the cup final. Guys, we gotta take a look at some of these squads after five seasons, starting with Aston Villa. Their goalkeeper is still Emmy Martinez, 84 overall. And they still got Ollie Watkins. Kylian Mbappe is 30 years old. He's 94 rated. Sesko was 87 overall. Vinny Jr. is 94 overall. Amadou Onana is 83. Jude Bellingham, yes, he's still at Aston Villa, 92. Tino Livramento was an 85 overall player. They even got Jonathan Ta and 87 overall Kasunu. But this team won absolutely nothing. Now we gotta take a look at Bayern Munich as well. The latest champions. Erling Haaland, 94 overall. Phil Foden is a 90. Serge Gnabry is still here filling a role. Michael Alise is an absolute baller and he's 88 rated in the prime of his career. They also randomly got Mateus Nunez. And yes, they still got Rodri. Look at Alfonso Davies, 87. And for some odd reason, Virgil van Dijk, who's 37 years old and 72 overall, he's at Bayern Munich. Maybe for experience. But they got the likes of 86 overall Kim Min Jae and 86 overall Deo Upamecano. So it's probably safe to say that they look like the most stacked team in the league. Hey, thank you guys for watching this comedy. There's a lot of teams that impressed us, but a few really disappointed, especially Aston Villa. Like, bro, Mbappe, Vinny, Jude, and you guys won absolutely nothing. How? Either way, if you guys want to see more types of these videos, hit the like button and the subscribe button for me with the little noti bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, 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 peace. I love you. Peace.